Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Welcome, so glad to have you here on this live stream on June the 24th at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are watching this as a replay, know that you can go right below my face, click on the gear, and speed it up to two times the speed. If you are watching this live, you earn junk bucks. That means that while you're watching here, while you chat, if you make any donations, you earn junk bucks. 2,000 junk bucks will award you a coupon to $10 off on my store. And let me get that piece of paper. <clears throat> so you can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks. And then when you have 2,000, you can type award. And my fingers are dirty. Oh, my goodness. Um, so that is going on right now. Uh, what else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. So if you have questions, put them in all caps. If I don't answer, I apologize. The chat moves pretty fast, so I may not see it right away. Uh, so ask again. If you are buffering or having anything, any issues like that, refresh, and that usually fixes it. Um, what else? Um, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I, I really pre appreciate you watching. Your thumbs up. You're sharing my video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I made it to 10,000. So I'm giving away more goodies because of that uh, as soon as i run out we'll run out but i have a little bit of a stockpile that i've been saving up here um what else here um i'm trying to think. oh yes the raffle for today we're only going to do one insert or journal so it's gonna be a smaller journal so if we can get to fifty dollars in donations then i will raffle off that journal at the end and i'll raffle off some minis to go with it so let's change the view so you can see what's going on hey yay carol good i'm glad refreshing fixed it hey norma oh don't hope you uh don't uh, get any more storm there norma let's see hello robin and christy and kathy and deborah and carrie and donna and sherry and carol and marie and giovanna and if i missed your name i apologize this is just what's in my screen oh i see millie so i'll see you there and if you want go ahead and enter the raffle it's for 200 junk bucks so it gets you on your way to getting 2,000 junk bucks and thank you deborah for your donation i can't get my words out they were tongue tied so today we're going to be working with the youthful yellow rainbow creative a creative rainbow kit i always get that worded wrong it's the creative rainbow youthful yellow kit and so this is on my screen and it's probably washing out <clears throat> 
This is the journal. It comes. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you, Carrie Ann. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The cover is an eight and a half by five and a half. It has 12 pages that look like this on the inside. When you get your journal, it will be bound. It will be bound with staples down the center. And it's a ready-made, ready-for-you-to-use journal. <clears throat> Thank you, Donna. Uh, then you get three fussy cut pages. So these are notorious little fussy cut items that Norella puts in her digital kit. And we also put this into the larger expanded journal kit that you can add on to the creative box. So when you type raffle, make sure it's an exclamation point. Exclamation point raffle. I saw somebody was a, an I. And it's not I raffle, it's exclamation point. Thank you, Christy. I'm glad you love the yellow. Me too. I think it's really pretty. Uh, hello, Norella. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> um, this is one of Norella's favorite colors, by the way. So she had a lot of fun with this, I think, anyway. And I really didn't even mention this on the cover. This is a hand-painted sunflower by me. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. This is a hand-painted sunflower and that one. And then each one of these color blocks that you're seeing are snippets of gel prints and mixed media pages that I created. And I sent them digitally to Norella. And then she incorporated them into the journal. As well as that little guy there is mine. <clears throat> And then this is the first fussy cut page, and it is one-sided. Here is the second fussy cut page. It's 100 pound cardstock, so it's heavy. It's laser printed or professional printed. And then this is the other page. I'm going to do something. We were getting washed out there. And then this one has a little pocket and journaling card, tickets and words, and a corner tuck spot in this rose, and it is two-sided. And this image that you see right here, I drew. It's one of a, a prototype stencil design, and I share those with Norella, and then I've sent her my gel prints, and so she's been able to pull these together to make this really beautiful design. And if you didn't see the inside of the cover, those are some more. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, more of my sunflowers and more of my hand-drawn design in the background. So I think she's done a really great job of putting the printed part of this kit together. Then as the rest of the kit is coming together, you're going to get a package of ephemera and trims and beads and sequins and a few charms uh, pepper clips and whatnot so these are some of the fibers i think you get two yards of this variegated green to yellow with a little bit of ivory you get a yard of the fuzzy yarn and then you get two different kind of a golden yellow pieces there is also a yard of some hemp cord I, I wasn't sure what to call it, but I think it's called hemp cord that you could use to bind it or to tie things on. You don't get quite a yard of this little yellow ball trim, but it was just too cute. And I, I bought just enough so I could do 50 kits. So you don't quite get a, a full yard, but you do get a yard of this ivory lace. And you get a yard of this wired ribbon. You can pull the wire out of it. And it's ivory with gold, so you can use that however you like. You get some tickets. And then you get this piece of yellow paper here. <laughs> and then inside here, I've got a ton. Uh, thank you, Lori, for your donation. A ton of little goodies, sequins and beads and little paper flowers and bulb pins and buttons and charms and all the, uh, paper clips so there's lots of little goodies in here there's not even including um all of the little things but there's roughly a hundred pieces to this kit if you will um i've tried to put a lot in here thinking that you could use it in this kit while you're creating the journal you could save it for other projects whatever maybe thank you margie for your donation thank you thank you thank you and i got your message i haven't replied to everybody's messages i've been a little busy um also in this kit for 26.99 
you get a full bottle of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that is named Youthful Yellow. It matches the yellow in the kit. And then you get a bunch of little goodies like journaling cards. You get a ticket that you can alter. You get more journaling cards, more little pieces of paper. You get a kind of a diamond plate look. Uh, little tags, little envelope. You even get a colorful little bag. You get some dictionary pages, another piece of uh, cardstock that you can fold in half for cards, more dictionary pages, this really pretty gold foil paper, and then you get the exclusive stencil that I hand drew and we cut ourselves on our laser. So these are all in the kit, and then I'll show you really fast what the add-on kit looks like. I only have 50 of these. I didn't buy any extra this time. Um, I'm trying to keep the boxes affordable and at the same time it's become a lot of work for me. So I'm trying to figure out a balance if you will. <clears throat> but that is the kit. And then let me show you the optional add-on items that you can get with the kit. So let me get this out of the way. I'm trying to package it all up so I don't lose anything. You can also get the mini journal. Hey! Okay, Rita, I sent it to you through your email. Check your email and your spam from email me at lindaisrael.com. And thank you, thank you, thank you. You already put it in your cart, Christy. <laughs> hey, Angelica. Hey, Sally. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, it's packed. There's a lot in there. Thank you, Pam, for your donation. I try to put a lot in there for, you know, the price. Um, then if you want, you can also add the add-on mini journal. It makes a journal that is five by three and a half. So here's one of the journals I made using this cat. Um, so this is the front cover and that's the back. Thank you, Barbara, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And then this is, let me get it off the table here. This is the second cover and that's the back. And then these are the pages, which mimic the larger journal. You get four two-sided pages. So there's one. And it got cut crooked because I cut it. And so I'm going to fix that by inking the edges. Yours will be professionally cut, not just by me cutting it. <laughs> so this is the mini journal. And then here's what I made with it. I ended up using two pages per journal. I added two of these mop-up looking pages. This is a page that I used a dictionary page and another uh, image folded in half page and it looks like I had a little extra glue so I gotta pull it apart. There we go. And then here is another mop-up page. <clears throat> and then here's the printed page. And then I did the same thing with this little one. Just kind of added little things to it. So I'm going to raffle those off at the end. I'll get this out of the way so that I can use it later. Put it right here. And I forgot to show y'all, um, I made a journal for myself using the kit. I don't usually get to do that, but I did this time. Um, so here is my journal. I printed it on my home printer so it does look different, uh, but I was just in a hurry. I wanted to get it done and I was waiting on the print guy to get it finished and it wasn't until today that I got the actual printed items. So I've been working on this uh, for a couple of days now on and off and I ended up taking the journal apart and I added some little fabric tabs. I made some stamped pages. I made a couple of these mixed media pages live on Thursday. So you can check those out. But I thought I would just kind of flip through really fast that you can take that journal kit, add a couple things from your stash and make it a little bit bigger journal. And I've made a journal cover. In fact, thank you so much, Christy. I'm glad you love the subfire. Mapa pages. Um, this is a cover that I made for my journal, and I have enough to make three more. 
So I'm going to go ahead and make those, and these will be put in my shop. So first come, first serve. Uh, they'll go pretty fast, and this is what the inside looks like. Since I had the digital download, I mean, I'm the one that's selling it. I get to have those. Uh, thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I went ahead and printed the inside covers from the large expanded kit and used those for the inside of my journal. And I think it's going to look really good as a Midori cover when you open that up. And you'll see the the yellow on the inside. Isn't that kind of cool? And I love that it's dark. So hopefully it will get dirty. <laughs> I hope. So I thought I'd show you that. And let me show you quickly the large kit. Again, with the large kit, you get um, the cover. So remember, you get to cut this piece up if you want and use that in your journal somewhere. And then you get seven two-sided journal pages. So I'm going to set this over here. Okay. This is one of the pages. Here's another. This is a, a planner page. So it's a monthly planner page. Here's another page. I like the planner style in it. It just makes me happy. I love all this color. And this one's really cool. I like how she's done you know, lemon, yellow, yellow, orange. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You love my cover, Christy. Thank you. You want one? <laughs> Thank you so much. I just happened to be at my local craft store and I walked over and looked at the ruminants and that was a ruminant. So I just went ahead and said, okay, I've got to have it. I think it's perfect for this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so this is one of the covers. And I just love that print. Another cover. And then here are the fussy cut elements. Norella did something really cute. She put little bird heads on people's bodies. Isn't that fun? <laughs> hey, Mary, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think Norella wants one of these journals, don't you? Is it time for me to make one for Norella? <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do is I won't put one of those covers in the shop. <clears throat> what the add-on is called is the uh, exclusive printed journal kit. Exclusive? I can't get the words out. It's the exclusive kit, and it is the yellow. And if I go here, I can get you the direct link. <laughs> <laughs> say it correctly. I worked on it hard over the weekend. Okay, so you want the exclusive yellow, youthful yellow printed journal kit. Exclusive. And if you go to my website, my home page, and scroll down, I'll give you that link first. Right there on that front page is the all the yellow pieces that I have added to my shop. And then I'll give you the link for the actual printed kit. So this is the printed kit. And then you probably want the subscription box. And then here's the digital and here's the mini. So let me get that. Copy and paste. So I'm going to give you the a few of the kits right there, and I'm sure Robin will get some of the others. <laughs> it is a mouthful, isn't it? I was trying to figure out how to put it in my shop so that I could distinguish it from others. <laughs> but it is the exclusive printed youthful rainbow or youthful yellow uh, journal kit. So it has two two-sided covers, seven two-sided pages, six fussy cut elements and we're almost done kind of showing you the fussy cut elements it's got the corner pocket the corner tucks that you can put in it the big journaling cards lots of little words she decided to put in this one and she put some tags in a big card there another tag so it's super cute I think I hope you like it I hope you enjoy using it um, on your project, in your journals. Let's get this out of the way as well. <clears throat> Alrighty, so how are we doing? Did everybody get entered into the raffle? Are you entered into the raffle? Where did I do with all my papers? Okay, that's this. Okay, so 
I've just misplaced my journal. What did I do with it? Oh, I stick it in here. I'm pretty sure. I Henry was here when I was messing with stuff, and now I can't find. Okay. So I was talking to him, and I put it away. Where did I put it? <laughs> There's the mini. Oh, it's in the box. Okay. Okay. All right. I was really worried I lost something, and I was afraid to move forward. Okay. Got it. Yay! Join the raffle for 200 junk bucks. Okay. So, we're going to pretend that... I took my staple puller and I pulled out the staples. So I have these three pages that are going to go into my journal here. Here is the cover. I've already fussy cut all the little items that go in the kit. Okay. And yeah, I put it in the cover. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Candia. <laughs> oh, Kim Leaf. Kim Greenleaf got her coupon. All right, this is 6, 24, 19, and this is youthful yellow. Congratulations, Kim, on getting your uh, coupon code, coupon for two, $10 off. Yay! No, it's not your fault. I was talking to Henry. I wasn't talking to somebody else. He was just happened to be here, and I did not pay attention to what I was doing. When I put it away. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so here's what I've got. I've got some mixed media pages here. I've got some dictionary pages. Um, I've got some graph paper and some other miscellaneous stuff. So let's let's decorate a page. Let's get a page. Let's pretend that you know you have your stash of things and. Here's what you have. You have the stencil, okay? You have the stencil. You have a couple of journaling cards, and then you have some scrap of some graph paper. It doesn't matter what size, it's just some scrap. Then we have some notebook paper, or you could use a dictionary page. You could use um, copy paper. That's what I got, copy paper. So I'm just gonna set these pieces of paper that are like little strips in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, the magic of art, you know, we get to create our own stuff. We get to decorate things the way we like, and I'm talking into the box and I apologize. <laughs> you know, we get to choose what goes in our journals because we're what? We're the boss of our journals. But this is a way that you can use up those odds and ends and bits and pieces in your journal and add color. So a lot of people are like, well, you know, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, you got your coupon. Yay, Christy. Um, I see that now. <laughs> You can add color. It doesn't have to be blah and dry, but it doesn't have to all be what is in uh, your junk junk, that it's always that slicky magazine stuff. You can add pieces of paper that you have in your stash, maybe leftover notes from somebody. Uh, tear up that junk mail that has white places too. You can use the white space as well. All right, so I'm gonna put Christy down. Coupon. All right, you go, Kim. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake up the youthful yellow, and we're going to spray this over the top. And the yellow is pretty, but I'm going to step it up, and I'm going to take the frosted steam from the punked out steam kit. It's kind of a tealy blue color. And I'm going to add just a little bit here and there. It's not a lot. But it will make a difference because it will show up on all the pieces of paper. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. And so now I'm just grabbing another piece of copy paper, okay? And I'm going to line it up and lay it down. And it may not be perfect, but you know it's okay. 
and then I'm going to spray the back side just a little and that's going to give it some shimmer. I may even go ahead and add just a little bit of the teal. And then when we pull this back, we have a journal page. Thank you, Ada. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know if I said thank you, Paula, but thank you, Paula. Oh, be safe, Marie, under a tornado watch. Safe trip, Lisa. I don't know why, but say, hey, good job. <laughs> oh, you made your own jelly plate, Bonnie. Awesome. Do you like that? Can you see the color variation in that? I just think it's really pretty. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. So that's one page. And then here's my stencil. So, and then I've made one journaling card, two journaling cards, two journaling spots that will add to a journaling page. And then look at this page. Can you see that? I know it's washing out on us, but I want to spray the back side. In fact, I'm going to grab another stencil just because I want to add a little bit here and there. And it's not a lot. It's just a little bit of design. Thank you so much, Lisa, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so this is the back side. And then this is the front side. What do you think of that? We're not done yet. We're going to take this up a notch. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you. All right, so I'm just grabbing another sheet of paper just to lay on my desk. I've got the shabby stitches. Can we say that fast? Shabby stitches uh, stamp set. This is one that kind of looks like a zipper. I don't know. It's one of my favorites. I seem to like it the most. Robin says we only need one dollar and one penny in order to do the raffle for the journals at the end. So thank you all for your donations. All right, so I'm going to just go in here and I'm lining it up with the edges of each of these little boxes that's on here. We'll rotate. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go off the page and let it go side to side. And I'll do that again up here. And then I'll do this little box, my still in shot in this little box. Now this time, thank you, Alex. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much, Alex. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are awesome too. All right. I want to put stitches. Oops. We're behind the sheep. I want to put stitches here. Uh, but I don't really want it necessarily to go off the edge of the page. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put a piece of paper here as a mask. And then I'll stamp and it will stay within the area. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. I'm going to do it again over here. And I'm going to do it again. So I'll do it again in just a moment. So if you missed it. Oh, I was over too far, but that's okay. It'll, it'll be a two... Uh, two liner on that side so it has interest right in fact i could go ahead and stamp it again right along the edge and that'll give it a finished look thank you manda thank you so much thank you thank you so see how that's taking shape where before this side is plain there it just has where the tattered angels was has the void in the centers, the tattered angels and the uh, stencil patterns on the outside. But look how much different it looks just by adding the stitches around each block. If you don't have this, you know, another thing you can do is grab a ruler, grab a pen, draw some lines. You can even just make hash marks on there. You can use other stamps. Use whatever you want to define it. But I just thought I would share how to do it with rubber stamps. You need that shabby stitches. Isn't it cool? I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it, it has four different designs. And I've, I kind of tend to gravitate to this one because of this technique that I'm doing. But you can use it for all kinds of stuff. Anytime you want 
stitch look, but you don't want to get out your sewing machine, or maybe you don't want the stitches to pull through the other side. You only just want it on this side so you don't really see it. Well, do it with a stamp. Yeah, perfect place for photos. And that's another thing. Many of you, I kind of mentioned this um, Thursday. This time I went ahead and went off the page. Um, you know, many of us started our art by making uh, greeting cards and scrapbooks. So if you're already kind of have that mindset and you understand what that layout and composition is, you can do the same thing in your junk journals. You can make it look like this is a, a photo mat. It, in our case, I want to use it for writing, but it could be a photo mat. You could place a photo there, have a title up here. You can even go as far to put those titles on your pages if you so choose. It's your journal. Do what you want. Okay. Yeah, Angelica has the shabby stitches. Oh, I hope they get it fixed, Green uh, Kim. <laughs> All right, so we've got one side that I've kind of stamped over. I haven't done anything on this side, but I think what I want to do is I want to add some stamped images. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of the fussy cut items just so that I can kind of get the page finished, if you will. And I think, is that what I want to do is add those? And then I saw some words. Let's see the words. This one says B U. So wouldn't that look cute right there? And put create up there. And then that page is, is pretty much decorated if I want. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, I think it's time for me to do the raffle, isn't it? We've been on 30 minutes. I'll glue these down so you got a couple of minutes. I don't get glue all over me. To enter the raffle. Enter the raffle. Put that there. Put this down here. Kind of on that line a little bit. I should have made sure before I glue that that I am in the center. I'm not too far over. Because nothing like when you glue something down and you end up messing up because... <laughs> it was too close to the center. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's put that up there. And this right there. <clears throat> Thank you, Donna. Thank you. You like it? Thank you, Carrie Ann. I mean, it's, it's simple. Isn't this something you could do? You don't have to... Um, have all the supplies that I showed, you should be able to recreate it. You can make your own coffee spray, make your own Kool-Aid spray if you can't afford to uh, purchase the Glimmer Mist type products. All right, y'all entered the raffle. Well, welcome Mariana, glad you're here. So glad you're here. All right, so let's pick the next uh, raffle. So if you haven't entered the raffle, and we're going to pick for 200 junk bucks. I'm also going to grab another prize and get that ready. Let's see here. We'll do this one. Okay, so I got a prize. Oh, we got a boss fight going. Maybe you'll win some of my junk bucks. <laughs> Ah, uh, Carrie Ann. Got an FFA started. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to do the giveaway. And let's pick a winner. Marie Duncan, you just won 200 junk bucks. 200 junk bucks. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay, so the next person... That's going to win. And I don't need you. You can reply. But uh, you don't have to give me your address for that Marie. Uh, Marie. Is it Marie or Maria? Okay. Uh, reset. And we're going to do. These are um, shades of green uh, cards. Yeah. With envelopes. It looks like the envelopes are white. So you get... 42 pieces, I'm guessing. 
probably 24 cards and is that right that's not right math how many would that be all right well we're gonna do this giveaway because <laughs> you know me and math don't get along very well <laughs> oh dear i think they probably give you extra um envelopes all right so here's the inside so we've we've got the outside and then here's the other side so what do we want to put on here let's take a look i've got this little guy and it's a library pocket with a journaling card i think that would look kind of cute right here on this side and what else do i have kind of looking i've got a little birdie here do i need that I have a rubber stamp image. I stamped this out earlier. It's one of the Daisy Trio that's in my shop. And then I colored it with watercolor. Uh, actually, with Tattered Angels Clever Mist, I used it like it was watercolor. And I think that might look kind of cute up here. But I think it needs something else as well. So I'm going to move my mat over. And I have this vine. It's a large stamp. I think it's almost six inches. I can't remember. It's big. What is this? This is five and a half inches. So it's huge. But I love this vining in it. So all I'm going to do is go over my Distress ink. I'm just kind of lightly going over in a corner. And I'm going to use my fingers to kind of just press it but not really all the way. So you get just a hint of the design. So I'm gonna do that again over here. I'm just kind of just patting the stamp on there and then I'm gonna press it, press it. I'm just gonna do it randomly all over. Not too dark, you can still write over it, but it's just adding a little bit of a distressed background without really, I don't know, a lot of effort. I already like the way this looks. I don't know, can y'all see that? So it's got that shades of yellow. You can see the other pattern behind. So let's glue this down. You hired a tutor for college math? That's awesome. Ah, Robin says we have reached the goal for the raffle. So it, on the journal at the end. So if you are watching this and you like what you see and you want a chance to win this journal, just make a donation of any dollar amount and you could be in it to win it. And I'll also be raffling off the smaller journals. We'll try to decorate them a little bit uh, before we get off here as well. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this down. I'm just adding glue to these little flaps and I'll press it. I want it down kind of in the corner and I'll hold it in place for a moment. Oh no, Julie! We can see it and you want it, Ada. I understand. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because, you know, I, I'm technically, this is my job, is to show you all what I'm making and hopefully get you to buy what I'm making. And I think my pocket's too tight. I may have to edit my journal card. Um, but I'm like, I don't have to buy anything new because I created the art and now I get to play with the art I created. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you so much. So it never feels like, you know, I'm like, what am I gonna do with, I can't buy any more stuff. And I'm like, I don't have to buy anything. I'm able to use the stuff that I used uh, to create the kit in the kit. So it's kind of fun for me. I know I'm rambling. Okay, so that's one journal page. Did y'all see that fully? That's one side. That's the other. Just to add to the journal uh, so we have writing space. All right, so I'm going to grab... I've got a dictionary page. It's not the same that comes in the kit because I have uh, had these handy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, oh, we got another person that got their coupon code. So let's get it. 
we're, we're doing the coupon codes today. And again, if you don't, thank you so much, Barbara, for your donation. If you don't get the email from me, do check your spam. You're going to check for email me at lindaisrael.com. So uh, I'm going to do that. Email me at lindaisrael.com. Do what you love and you will never work a day in your life. I, I, that is so true. That is so true, Norella. All right, Carrie Ann Thomas, 200 junk bucks. I have a couple of orders that will be going out tomorrow. Um, I had to wait for the rubber stamps to be made, so I finally got those. And then I got a couple of people that won journals. Those should go out probably tomorrow or Wednesday. You know I can craft with it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yay, Angelica, you can eat again. All right, so we've got this page, and you're like, okay, so what, what can we do with this page? Well, we need some writing space on it. That's what I think right off the bat. And earlier, we sprayed a couple of pieces of paper to go on here. And I think what I'm going to do is I have... Because I'm liking the teal with this. So I'm going to grab a couple of these little pieces of paper. They're just off of a notepad. You could uh, take some notebook paper and spray it. And then that would give you the color here. And so here's the opposite of the other page where we use the void to make spaces. So now I'm going to use those pieces on top of the... Um, dictionary page but I think I want to add some color to that background so that it has a little bit more color to it I'm gonna put the stencil on top of it so again this stencil only comes in the kit that's the only way you'll get it it will be a year before I put it in the shop and I think what I want to do trying to keep it consistent I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with the yellow so it's going to have green wherever I put this tur turquoise color. Too many windows open, Robin. <laughs> I do that. All right, so I've added a little bit of color on there. I'm going to grab another piece of paper that I can use as a mop-up page because that can become a journal page. So you're getting consistent design throughout your journal if that's what you want if you want that look to reappear over and over then make mop-up pages that match all right so now we got that one I'm gonna set that over there and this isn't very dark but it's just a little bit of color on that page that once was just white with text so now we've added color the sales always happen before you get paid. I understand that. I do, I do. All right, so we're going to put this up here. Maybe that down there. Maybe this up here. Maybe that down there. And this is kind of blending in to the other. So I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking of changing my mind about what I put here. I've got, I've got a gel print that's kind of yellow and I think what I'm going to do is save these and I'm going to cut this little gel print where's my ruler I had a moment ago I have it right here where'd it go because I measured stuff okay so I think probably about a two inch piece maybe is two inches enough I think it is. So I'm going to line this up on my mat and I'm just going to tear it. And that's going to give me a little piece I can use. It's upside down, but that's a piece I can use up there. And then I'm going to do it again. I'll line it up on my mat and we're going to tear about a two inch strip. I found if I can line it up, it's easier to get it somewhat straight. Although this doesn't seem like it's straight. Get straight. There we go. 
Oh, what did I do? Why are you yelling my name? <laughs> Mop up pages. <laughs> All right, I'm putting I'm putting the ruler back where it goes. If you put things back where they're supposed to go, then you can see it. All right, and I've done that. Okay. I think that looks kind of cute, don't you? Do you like it? <clears throat> Okay, what are you saying to me? I'm I'm sorry, I missed it. Linda, I see my name. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Do I need to go back up? <laughs> oh dear. Did I miss it? Carrie Ann. I see Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann, what you need? What you say? Okay. Yeah, send me a message. If it's important. Send me a message through my web page. You can use the contact me form and just type out what you need. And then I can reply to your email. Okay? Because <laughs> I don't always see it in the chat here. And again, anytime, if you don't get a message back from me, do check your spam for email me at lindaisrael.com. All right. So we're going to put this on here. I think I'm going to put some distress inks around the edges. Okay, so I just add a little bit of distress. It's not a lot. It's not super dark. If you like to go dark, do it. It's your journal page. Do what you love. Another thing I could do is I could take a different stencil design and put a pattern on those little blue pieces of paper. And that will change the look of those as well. All right, I'm checking the chat. I'm trying to look up to see what I need to respond to. I'm kind of liking this yellow on here. Do y'all like it? Okay. Let me get me a drink. Ah! Clean my hands. All right. So, do I need to color these with texture? Nasty tasting stuff. I don't like spam. <laughs> I don't want to eat it all the time, but every once in a while we'll get spam and do spam, onions, and potatoes in a skillet and skillet fry it, and it's quite tasty. <laughs> all right. I think we need to put a pattern on these guys, and I'm going to go ahead and do it with the um, same pattern that we use on the background. I'm gonna see how this looks. And if I don't like it, you know what? I have more of these little pieces of paper and I can choose one of those. All right, so I'm gonna get the same uh, frosted from the Punked Out Steam. You could also use uh, the uh, uh, Royal Peacock color. You could use Curious, that's another color. So I'm just gonna spray right over that. And I'm going to kind of mist in between because this is, again, we're creating another journal page just by spraying on top of it all at the same time. I'm getting three different items that I can use. I like it. Okay. Of course, I get, I get happy about making the mop-up pages. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, I just love making these pages. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Bye, Norella. Thank you for stopping in. Spam is too salty. Yeah, it is kind of salty. Yeah, it, it is. That's why you don't have to add any salt to it. And it's perfect with potatoes. The potatoes help cut the salt. Salt. <sighs> Norella's going to have some now. Really? How funny. <laughs> Alrighty. So we've got another page that we can use. And then I sprayed those. And look how it changed it. Do you like how the change? Because now you got all these patterns. Okay. Fried spam and potatoes are good, Christy says. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, exactly. That's why you fry it with the potatoes, so it fry it, it uh, gets the salt. Henry says we don't do it very often because again, it's really not that great to be eating it all the time. 
but every once in a while it's not so bad especially if you can doctor it up just a little bit <laughs> Yeah, you. I like making them. Angela likes getting them. <laughs> and mop-up pages. I like it. Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. Come back here in just a little bit. If you can, come back a little bit. Because you did donate. Didn't you? Didn't you donate? Oh, no, you got a coupon code. Okay, I was going to say, if you donated, make sure you come back here in just a little bit so that you can enter the raffle. But I understand if you're having spotty internet. You never had spam? Well, that's okay. You're a vegetarian, so you don't have to have it. You don't have to have it. Thank you, Christy. Uh. You had fried chicken? Ooh! I haven't had fried chicken in a while. I've been trying to be better about what I eat. And uh, I usually get grilled if we're going to have grilled ch any kind of chicken. Mariana, check your spam folder. <laughs> oh. Bacon and egg roll coming. Ooh. I don't know, food, food makes me happy. I like food. That's why it's hard to go on a diet and cut out foods that you love. You have to figure out how to go on a diet and make it feasible that this is a plan that you can continue on with. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so this time we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use this textured uh, edge stamp. I, sh I forgot to tell you that, uh, Robin, this is a textured edge. So here's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take it, and we're going to stamp it over the edges. Just adding a little bit of texture here. What do you think? How that adds to that? I'm trying to hold it still in one spot. So you can see it. Ooh, lamb chops. I don't I I do lamb when we go on, on a cruise ship, but it's always so greasy. I end up with um severe acid reflux. So I have to be careful. <laughs> I'll have a bite, you know, I don't have a lot. <laughs> I like it. Do you like it with that texture going across there? Now I'm gonna do it on this one. And this one and then we'll go up here and then we'll go right about there it just adds a little bit yeah I eat, I eat salads quite a bit I, I add a protein of some kind egg or chicken but I like eating the salads. I think that looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, so let's see what we've got. How about these guys? Those would look kind of cute on that page, wouldn't they? I've, the key to losing weight is moving. You have to move. If you don't move, it's really difficult because you have to take your calorie intake so low if you're not moving around that it's just miserable it, it's it's too difficult to not eat they cut things out but if I move and then cut back on those bad foods that I just love to have and I kind of cut back on them don't eat them as often kind of do them you know once a week instead of every night of some of these things that I just love to eat <laughs> it works a whole lot better all right, I'm going to do, I think I like that one, yeah, so I've got the journal, um, I think it's the journal quartet, there's four little journal words that you get in the set, I'm going to take a, um, an artist trading card piece that comes in the kit, so when you buy the, 
rainbow creative youthful yellow you get i think four of these little artist trading cards i just find they're handy when they're pre-cut and they're laying here on my desk i tend to use them more often so that's why i like to add them in the kits all right so i've got the journal word stamped twice so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go across here and tear this and i think that would look cute because when you split this page with other pages around it, these won't be side to side. So it's okay if you repeat it. So I think that looks pretty cute. I, it needed something else, and I think that's what it needed. Yes, it is harder. Yeah, rejuvenating your uh, kitchen, you can lose weight too if you got to be careful. <laughs> Don't eat out all the time. <laughs> we are not going to do a Christmas themed box. I don't think. I, I've got mixed um, requests. Last year we did the Winter's Bliss and it went over really well. If you really would like for me to do a Christmas themed one, I need to know pretty quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a poll on my Facebook page. If you get on Facebook and follow me at Linda Israel on Facebook, I'll put a poll up that if you could answer it honestly, what you would like um, for a theme for the next couple of kits. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll have some suggestions there that you can go by. What do you think? You like the page? Thank you. But you can do this. You can do this. Yeah, if you renovate your whole flat, Angelica, I understand that. <laughs> you like the pre-cuts? Yeah, having pre-cuts are so easy to have. All right, so this side doesn't have anything on it, but what can I do here? I have, let's make a pocket on this side. Maybe something like this. I'm gonna spray this side with some Tattered Angels because it didn't quite go all the way through. So, I'm going to do it with the darker color up here. And of course, it doesn't really matter on the bottom because you're not going to see it. But I'm doing it for the purpose of being able to mop up and get a little bit of a pattern. Okay. So I got that page. And then this is the back side of the page we just decorated. Okay. You, you got chubby, but you never have menopause. I have, I don't know if you call it, mine is surgical men, menopause. Okay, thank you, Robin. Because I had a radical hysterectomy in my 30s. And I was on hormone replacement for a while. And when my mom came down with cancer, and we've had so many cancer in my family, I was like, no, maybe I can go without it. So that's what I've been doing, is I go without hormone replacement. So I'm kind of going through my version of menopause. Okay, let's do the raffle. There's my pen. And let me pick... Oh, here we go. All right, got the next prize. All righty, and giveaway. And this person, when you win, I need your mailing address. If I do not have your mailing address, please contact me through my webpage. Use the contact me form and just say your, your YouTube username if it's different than your real name and uh, give me your mailing address when you win. All right, pick the winner and the winner of the green cards are Cynthia Dossett. Yay! I have your address, so that's easy for me. Congratulations. And you got the green 
cards. All right, so the next giveaway is going to be for the Romantic Swirl a rubber stamp that's from Beeline Designs. It was a stamp that was used in the Radiant Red Creative Kit. That was my first rainbow box. And so we're going to give one of these away right now. R-O-M-A-N-T-I-C-E. W-I-R-L stamp. All right, so an open giveaway. <clears throat> So that's the next prize. Enter the raffle. <laughs> All righty. All right, I'm going to have to move a little faster if I plan to get this journal done, huh? All right, so I've sprayed this side. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got uh, the botanical uh, narcissus. Narcissus, that's what that's called. And I've got a piece of cardstock here. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cardstock. I'm going to ink this up on my black ink pad. And I'm going to stamp this guy on here. I'm just making sure I got enough ink. All right, we're going to put it kind of close to the edge because I plan to cut it out. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. <laughs> Jumpy, Junkie Joe, Angelica wants you to pick her. All right. Yay! Okay, so now we've got this little flowers on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat it with my heat tool so that it will go ahead and set that ink really fast. I'm going to grab a couple of colors of some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist here. There's the green. There's the green. And I don't see, oh, there it is. Okay. So I've got a little palette here that I use to spray some Tattered Angels into so that I can use it with a paintbrush. So I'm just going to spray a couple of mists into there. I could also just wet a paintbrush and put it in there if I want. Sometimes you have enough. It just kind of depends upon uh, how much is left in there, if it picks up any of the color. So I've got two shades of yellow. This is from the Punked Out Steam kit. And then I've used the yellow in the Youthful Yellow and the green from the Punked Out Steam kit. So I'm going to set this aside here for a second. And I'm going to grab a paintbrush. So, well, I just kind of pick one that I like. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is called Narcissus. N-A-R-C-I-S. Narcissus. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dip into the green paint. And I'm just going to use a wet paintbrush. And I'm just going to outline the stems that are on this image. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a loose watercolor. You could even go in here and add a little bit more uh, background if you want. So if you really like to watercolor, you could go in here and make a background as well. I just want to kind of get the stems, a little bit of the green. I'm gonna rinse out my brush, and then I'm gonna pick up some different shades of yellow. Oh, thank you, Michelle, for subscribing. If you're watching me, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to pick a little bit of the yellow, and I'm going to place it in spots. And I'm not really taking the time this first time through, and now I'm going to pick up the next color yellow and kind of go in and fill where I missed and it kind of blends those two together. Okay. Gives you a little bit difference in the texture of each flower. Okay. And then, yay, new subby. I'm just going to get some water 
And I already had some of a brown, I think it's craft, that I have in here. So I'm just getting my paintbrush wet and sticking it in there. And that should be enough color. That's what I also like about this because I can let it um, air dry a little bit and I can take it with me if I want to travel or something and I want to do a little bit of watercoloring, but I don't want the big mess of having to deal with a lot of water. And you can take that with you and take a water brush and then you can use like a paper towel or a napkin to get rid of the color whenever you're trying to change colors. All right, so I just kind of watercolored in there. If you want, you could go really, you know, um, into it and detail, great detail. Just kind of depends upon what you want to do. Next, what I'm going to do is trim this out. So I'm just going to grab my scissors here and trim this out. Yes, the fern stamp is in the store now. And in fact, there's three sizes of the fern stamp. So, yes, there's three sizes. They, the small and the large go the same direction. The medium is a different direction. And the medium is what I used the other day. All right. Yeah, Robin, a uh, color, um, I sometimes have even stamped with Tattered Angels. I think that's fun, too. All right, so I'm just going to cut this out. I was going to cut this off, but I've decided not to. I'm going to use that to make this a hinged card on my journal okay oh <laughs> yeah the fern stamps are on that page that Robin just shared that's the latest stamps that I have added to the shop and so that page she just added you can see it there all right so now what I'm doing I'm just gonna line this up on my paper cutter and instead of cutting it, I'm going to use my stylus tool and I'm going to score on this line. And then I can fold this over if I did it right. And this is going to become a hinge on the page. Ooh! You, stepped, you stamped with gelatos the other day and Tattered Angels colored that. That's awesome. All right, where's my bone folder? There it is. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that this is really creased. So I'm taking my bone folder and pushing it across that seam. And I think what I want to do is just glue it right there on the page. And you like that? So we'll grab my glue. like this and then we'll just pay, put this down kind of in the corner here and I think what I want to do is one of these maybe this guy although he's a heavier piece of paper I want a different weight of paper so I found that guy why don't we do that? So we've got this guy here. Let's add some texture and color to it. And I think... Ooh, I know what I want to do. Oh, poo. What did I do with them? I just got two brand new... Oh, there they are. Um, stamp pads, y'all. I finally, I finally broke down and bought some of the uh, distressing so I have now four distress inks I had to go back twice 
I had to go in one time and use my 40% off coupon. And then I had to go back another time <laughs> so that I could have these for today. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So let me grab. I need a, a long stamp. All right. And oh, I have this paper. And I have this paper. Okay, good. I have some other pieces of paper here. I thought I was out. All right, so we're going to take this lace. It's part of the Lace Duo. And I think I want this darker yellow. It's a juicy stamp pad. Mm. Okay. So I got that inked up. I think I'm going to try to see if this will work. Yep, it's the same length. So if I line this up, I can get two for one. Two for one, y'all! <laughs> ah. Yeah, only one 40% off coupon. I use my cell phone so I can use the coupon on that. Sometimes I'll ask Henry to go with me so that he can use a coupon code. Look at that. Uh, for a product so I don't have to go back and forth. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to heat set that for a second. But I think I'm going to try something. This has got alcohol in it. So I'm going to do something. I want to see how that reacts. Now it kind of blurs it a little bit. That was fossilized amber. And if you don't have a Hobby Lobby or Michaels and you order from Amazon, I'll put a link up after I get off. I get a little bit of a commission. It's not much if you order through my link on Amazon. And they're usually the same price as everybody else. You just don't get to use the coupons. <laughs> you got to practice with gelatos, Lisa. Um, they're just one of those mediums that you just got to play with it and and you'll get it, you know. You like that color? Yeah, you can use it in a lot of different ways. All right, I think that would look kind of cute sticking out right there. Let's glue this down as a side pocket. That way if we wanted to, we could stick a little tag or something inside there. So I'm going to glue here, here, and back. All right, so there's the center. So I want to go right about there. I do like that. And in fact, I think, okay, I'm going to, I think I might be able to make that fit. Okay. I think so. I just kind of keep playing with it a little bit. Sometimes you have to not put glue all the way to the edge just to make sure. Alright, so that's going to go on this side. What can go maybe like that? Oh, and then let's do, um, I have this color. I don't think it'll go as well. Yeah, Recollections is from Michaels. Yep. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Oh, but I do have a piece of this yellow left. Why don't we do something like that? What do you think? <clears throat> Use the oxidized goodness. Yeah, spritz it with, I did spritz it with a little bit of, I don't have water that isn't colored. It all has tattered angels in it. But I think what I'm going to do is we're going to glue this one down. And I'm going to stamp around it with the shabby stitches. And that'll give us a little pop of color up here. I should have went around the edge with the distressed inks, but I forgot. That's okay. <laughs> I 
think I like that. And then I'm going to put this one down here. Yeah, so then I'll glue this one down. Where'd my glue go? <laughs> Mar Mariana says, when I announce the winner of the journal tonight, she's going to hit mute so that I don't blow out her eardrums. <laughs> Do I want to go that way? I think I want to go this way. Right about there. Okay. And then... I'll take this guy and stamp him down the edge. What do you think? Are we getting there? Is that, is that starting to look kind of cute? We haven't put anything behind here, really. Um, I could do that. That's what I'll do. This fits perfectly behind there. You can't see it from the front. So I'll just... Add some distress ink, and I think what I'm going to do is use, might as well, the stencil with the yellow on top of it. And I'll do another one while I'm at it so that we get, we get journal pages that I can use in other journals. Next, next week, I will be doing some mixed media stuff on Thursday. We played with... Um, gel prints a little bit last Thursday and then I made journal pages with the gel prints. Do y'all want me to do something like that again? You liking it? Thank you. I know I need to have a plain water one. I've got a, I've, I found a bottle that I emptied out and it is in my bathroom. It was a hair product and I haven't brought it into here yet. <laughs> So hopefully I'll get that done today or tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I'm going to mop this up. And it should have a little bit of green on it. It does. Cool. Alright. So let's do the yellow again. So that mop up page has a little more green in it. And then I made these two pages so we can use those. And then here's another page. Oh, I love mop-up pages. <laughs> They're just so easy, y'all. They're just too easy. All right. I'll set that over here. Put that back in there. Thank you so much. Yes, this stencil is in the yellow kit. I'm using the stencil that's in the yellow kit. I think that can go right there. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You like my little spray station? It's really handy to have a little box that just so happens to fit in a little drawer that I have over here to my left. And I found that box. It was a perfume box. It had some different, you know, sample size of uh, like a body lotion and body mist. And then it had the perfume in it. And uh, I was like, I like that box. I wonder if it'll work. And I came in here and it fit right into the drawer that I thought would be handy that I could store it in. And that's what I did ever since. I just store it in there. All right. So this needs a little something. So I'm going to grab this guy, and I don't want it to go beyond, and I'm just going to stamp it in here, and we'll stamp this side. Yeah, it's so cute! Okay, I don't want to go too far. There. So when this is open, that's what you see. And I think what we need to do is put a little thing there to help keep it closed. So how about this guy? If we put it right there, you can pull it up and slide it under there. So that's what we'll do. All 
I'm trying to, I really want this side to be adhered down, but don't risk getting glue onto your paper. And you don't want it too close because then you can't flip it out and you'll bend the piece that's holding it close. I like that. Okay. And how about we put this guy? Can't put it too close there. I could put it like that. Well, let's see what else we got. What else is in here? Oh, she's in here. Although, that would make her looking at the spine. We don't want her looking at the spine, do we? Don't we want her out here? All right. We're going to keep going until I find the right thing that's going to fit here. I think maybe. I want something up here. Where's the thing that I want? Or what I could do, let's do that. That makes me feel better. I like that. All right, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I write the songs, Giovanna. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. I think I finally finished another page. What do y'all think? That was two pages we made. So, how are we doing on time? It's five o'clock. I've made two pages. <clears throat> so let me, um, let's make one more page. Ooh, I've got this. That looks kind of cool. I like this teal piece. I think I know what I'm going to do this time. So this time I'm going to trim this piece out. <laughs> I've seen... Um, I've seen Barry Manilow in concert, and Neil Diamond, and James, what is his name? Oh my goodness, goodness, he's a, uh, oh, I can't remember, James Taylor, I've seen James Taylor, all of those concerts I went to for free, <laughs> because another person wanted to go, and no one would go with them. So I went with them. <laughs> ah, okay. So let's look at this. That's not quite. So I'm just going to cut this in half. So this is just a gel print that I made Thursday. I didn't use any stencils. I just used color. It's smooth. It has a little bit of a... Um, kind of a chalky surface feel to it, but you can write on it and it adds color. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take another one of these dictionary pages, kind of cut these apart. Ah! So this had a little bit of a rip up there so let's look at this oh i've got this piece of paper i can use i like it when i put extra things on my desk and i'm like oh i can use that and oh i can use that <laughs> all right so i kind of fold it in half to kind of figure out where the side and uh, of each area and i like that right there right off the bat so i'm just going to glue this one down after i put some distress inks around the edge here it is all righty yeah the the journal kit that i'm working with right now comes in the rainbow creative box and then you can purchase for you to make yourself the add-on of the mini journal which has two little covers and four pages and then you can also add on the big journal kit 
Oh, wait, it's out of order. What happened? I was going to show you. Oh, there it is. The big journal kit, beautiful yellow. Okay. And that's an add on, and that makes two journals. So if you buy the box and the large kit, that's three journals. If you buy the mini, then you end up with two more journals. So that's a total of five journals. You can also get the digital download. Thank you, Sandra, for your donation. <laughs> All right, we'll put that one there. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Thank you so much for your donation. Yeah, I know. I could use that. <laughs> Well, and that's something that I'm going to be doing in July. I had someone ask if I was going to do it this year, and I've decided that I am going to do the Use It Up July. Um, I started this uh, last year, and basically my idea is every day I'm going to make something. I'll share at least a photograph of it. It will be shared on my uh, Instagram and it'll be shared on my Facebook and I think I'll also try to put it up on my blog <clears throat> of whatever it is I make and my idea is I'm going to use what's in my room I've got little baskets and Ziploc baggies full of things so I'm just going to try to use what's in my room and decorate some items make some things for junk journals whatever it may be Um, it, okay, I have to qualify that. If you want to use multiple coupons, the coupon restriction says that you must order a minimum of $10 in order to use the coupon. So if you want to purchase using two coupons and you have to purchase a minimum of twenty dollars plus shipping and it won't really let you um, use the two coupons at once what i have to do is i have to give you two separate coupon codes or manually do it thank you marie for your donation oh i like this little i have these little pieces here so i'm trying to see how i would like to oh let's do that and then we could put journal in the middle. Journal in the middle? All right, where'd it go? I'm missing my stamp block. Oh, he was hiding. You know, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, send me a message and we can discuss it, okay? But it, my store is kind of cranky. So I have to kind of explain. <laughs> You're welcome. And it's not fair to me <laughs> at one time. <laughs> All right. Now, do I want to make it narrower? I think so. I think I'm going to do that in narrow. You know, it's kind of funny because um, I'm making this, but having the, the screen in front of me, if I just look up at it, sometimes I can tell that, nope, that's not going to work. It would work better if I did this. And when you're looking at it from my angle down, you don't really get the full perspective of what it looks like. But having my overhead camera here, it's giving me a flat um, aerial view, if you will, of my page. And so it gives me a little better perspective of what it looks like. So I'm saying all of that for when you're working on a page and you're like confused, you don't know if that's where things should go, then stand up, get over it and take a photograph. And then look at that photograph on your phone or however you want to look at your photograph, even blow it up on a computer screen. And look at it objectively and say, ah, oh, well, if I were to do something over here and do something over there, that would look better. That's how you do it. All right. I know you want me to do the raffle. Did y'all enter the raffle? 
Uh, this is for the Romantic Swirl Stamp Set by Beeline Designs. She, Angelica wants that stamp. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Robin has my phone number. She could call me, I guess, if I don't seem to respond. I need a paper towel. My cup is sweating, and I don't have a coaster. All right. <laughs> what? All right, they're trying to do some a crafty boss. We're doing a girl boss fight. I'll do a boss fight with y'all, and then I'll pick a winner. And we'll do the next prize. Romantic squirrel? Exactly! <laughs> Everybody in? All right, I'm making sure you're getting in the raffle. All right, and while y'all are entering, let me look. Okay. I hope I did this right. Okay. So the winner is Sandra L. Hey, Sandra. <laughs> she just entered the raffle again. <laughs> Sandra Lewis, you are the winner. Congratulations! You won the Romantic Swirl Rubber Stamp. And I've got your address, so yay! Okay, so I'm going to reset it. And this is going to be a goodie pack. I've got another one of these goodie packs that I shared last week. It's got some uh, Rapid Fuse glue. It's got some uh, Amnadex uh, stain and ink remover. It's got one of these spring-loaded doodads that if Angelica wins, um, I won't send it. And then <laughs> and there's some uh, gray hemp cord. So it's just a little goodie pack of things uh, that maybe you would try these on your own, but because you've got a little goodie pack, you can test them out and see what you think of these products. It's kind of a sample pack, if you will. All right, so, yay, I'm glad you love the swirl stamp. Perfect. Into the raffle. Okay, so I started this mess, got the stamp, and that's going to be for the goodie pack. I think, oh, I want to do this guy. So I've got a bird bath here, and I think it would look really cute. I'm going to kind of stamp it off the page. It's probably crooked. Oh, that's not bad. See that? That's kind of cute. Okay. And then we need some distress ink on this piece. Okay. So we're going to layer these up. I'll put some distress ink on that. Raffle for the goodies. Okay. And let's see here. I think I want to use this textured piece again. So I'm just putting my piece of paper down just to kind of protect my work surface. And we're just going to stamp right around the edge. And it just, I don't know, it kind of just gives a little texture. And I like the way it looks. You see that? All right, I'm going to fold this over and do it again. Yeah, they think it's a weapon. I got gotcha. you. And Angelica, um, I am a of German descent. Did you know that? My family name is Dronberger. D R O N B E R. G E R drawn burger and pretty much any drawn burger in the United States I'm related to probably by marriage at this point but there is somewhere that we're connected um, 
which I think is kind of cool. <laughs> All right, I think, now what do you think? After I stamped around that edge. Okay. <laughs> Boo, did I scare the hiccups away? Robin, don't be having hiccups. Don't be having hiccups. All right, we're going to put this right here. And then I'll put that across the top. And it just kind of dresses up that page. Okay. Now this one I did not spray. I think what I want to do... Nope, that won't work. I don't want it that way. That will work there. But, ooh, I've got a piece that I left was left over from making the cover. And I think that would make a good belly band. I've got a couple of craft colored cards and I have more than one of these pieces so I'm gonna trim this to fit so this was because I printed the um, inside cover from the digital kit or the large expanded kit onto some cardstock for my covers that I made I'll have them in my shop probably in the next couple of days um, I wanted the same print, so I printed this up several times, and I think that would look really cute to make a belly band on there. So let's add some Distress inks to this, and then we'll also add some embellishments. I'd like to see uh, Germany. Your Swedish part German, Polish and Russian. You love it. Thank you, Julie. I'm an American mutt. But you, you believe your dad is French. Gotcha. Yeah, I could see that, uh, Sally, that your dad was French. Russia. Yeah, England. There's a lot of places I'd love to see someday. And I may not. <laughs> English, Irish, German, but only on paper. <laughs> I'm German, but only on the paper. I am totally untypically for a German. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Cherokee. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of course, here in Oklahoma, you know, since they forced the Indians to move here all those years ago on the Trail of Tears, you know, we basically shooed them off their land to a, not a very desirable piece of land. But there's a lot of Native America uh, people here in, in Oklahoma. You never know because, you know, it's, it may be dilute a little bit. They may have blue eyes and blonde hair, but they still have some in them. All right, we're going to put that there. And I think, oh, that might look cute on that little piece right there in the middle. Just kind of decorate it. And I almost put too much glue. Oh, no, it doesn't stick out good. Let me twist it just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and glue the other one on the other side, and then we'll make some journal cards and decorate the other blue piece. I mean, it sounds like a lot of us want to go travel all over the world. Oh, you did, that DNA thing? Huh. I don't know how accurate those things are. I guess it really doesn't matter in the end. <laughs> We're human. <laughs> All right. So, let's add something here. Oh, this might look kind of cute. Yeah, let's do that one. Because sometimes I have a problem figuring out where to put 
some fussy cut items because I want them to be seen. I don't want to cover anything up. You know, it's like, where do I want to put this? So putting it like this on a belly band or a vertical band, you give a little bit of decoration there. And even if you put just a plain journal card behind there, it still looks good. Uh, is Henry lurking? All right, so let's decorate these two cards somehow. I think what we want to do, I think I want to do the lace again. I think the lace would look really good um, on this darker card. It's not quite long enough to go down the sides unless I do the top and the bottom and then do the sides, so to speak. Maybe that's what I'll do. Let's see what it looks like. We're going to do the fossilized amber again. Let's see how it looks on the craft. It may just kind of blend into it too much. So I'm going to kind of get it somewhat in the center and stamp. It's kind of bright. I think I like it. And then I'll stamp it on the top and the bottom. It kind of shrinks your writing space. So if you want more writing space, just come up a little bit before you stamp it down. That doesn't look too bad. What do you think? What now? <laughs> Aw, Henry's so good at cooking for me. I'm kind of of a, I don't really care what we eat as long as we eat something. <laughs> so I let him choose or cook. I like it. What do you think? Do you like the yellow? Yeah, domestication is sexy. I do the garden. <laughs> I used to cook for him all the time, but he's also a control freak, so I don't need that. I don't do drama. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? And then this will go behind here. Kind of, you don't really see the area behind it, but look at that. What do you think? It probably should have done it in the teal color. But I, I can do one in teal. Let's do that. Let's clean the stamp off. And I think I have, well, it's Salty Ocean. I don't know if that's the right color. Is that a good color? Is that too far from that? I'm looking at the camera. I think it might work. We'll try it and see. So I'm just going to clean the stamp off because it's got the yellow on there. Spritz it. I didn't want to spritz it. It would obliviate the design. It looks great. You like it, Kathy? All right, so I've got the stamp clean. And let's do with the ocean. Let's see if we like this. And if we don't, you know what? I've got another journal card. Y'all in a hurry to go somewhere? <laughs> I'm never going to get this finished. All right. I don't know, that's kind of a neon blue. I'll keep going. We'll do the whole thing. That way we'll know. Do we like it? I kind of like it. It's kind of bright. It's colorful. Control is Henry's. That's what he says. <laughs> oh, I like the blue. All right, so here's what it looks like with the blue. What do you think? You like the blue? I like the blue. I like the blue. All right, so let's stamp or do something over here. Oh, here we go. Let's put this guy right here in the corner. 
and that'll be a little tuck spot. Because I think I still have a couple of journal cards here. Yep. And something like that would look good there. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. I think now what we need to do is we need to build this bad boy. I'm going to look at it. I like that. That could be a good center of the journal. That could be a center of a journal, but I think I like this for the very dead center of the journal. So I'm just gonna stack these up and we're gonna put the pages together and I'll stamp and whatnot in the journal, I think maybe. All right, so I've got three of these pages. This is the cover, okay? And then we've got three of the decorated pages. So now I'm gonna look at the mop-up pages that I made while we were spraying things and see what colors. I like that. I think I like those three. All right, so I'm going to move some stuff. And before I bind it, I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp around that so I don't have to fight with the cover of the journal. And then we'll put the pages together and finish decorating it. Okay. y'all having a good chat session? <laughs> I see boss fights again. All right, we're going to stamp this part. We'll use the shabby stitches again. It'll, we're kind of repeating it in a different spot. So I'm just going to go in here and... is a pretty fast page to create just by stamping it <laughs> all right okay okay so I got these three I think we'll do like that I've got the pages that come with the journal and this. So basically I've got nine pieces of paper here. I had another piece of paper I got out. So that's nine. I've got, this is just a random little piece. It's not sprayed or anything. So let's spray it. Let's spray it with a completely different stencil though. Let's use the spinning flower stencil. Okay, and we're going to use the same two colors, the teal and the yellow. So I'm going to spray the yellow on. Some areas a little bit darker than others. And then I'm going to go in with the teal. And then I'm going to mop this up. color coming through. I like spraying both sides even if in the end I only use half the sheet of paper. It's just done and it's ready to go if I want to use it. Ooh, I like that. Isn't that pretty how that turned out? And then here's the page that I did. So it's got that void in the center, which will make a great journaling page. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. 
and I'm not going to do it as heavily. I'm just going to do a really light mist because I don't want it to bleed through on the other side. And I'll just do this. By putting it on the back side of this page, it bleeds through just a little. So you get another little texture there. Okay. So now we got this page ready to go. So let's fold this one in half. And I think we'll put it somewhere in here, I think. So I'm going to grab one of these, one of these, one of these. And let's do one of these. And then we'll do one of these. And one of these. And I think this guy needs to go here now. Apparently I didn't spray the back side of this page. So there we go. Just adding a little bit. That goes there. And then, yeah, because then you kind of get the repeat. Okay. And this one here. This one here. This one here. Okay. So now I'm just going to get these all lined up nice and neat together. We're going to do a pamphlet stitch binding on there. All right. Just sassy. All right, now, y'all be friendly in my chat. I'll boot you. <laughs> you, I like the, you like the writing paper? It, it's kind of handy to have, you know, some kind of little writing paper in there. Uh, I like sometimes doing the um, notebook paper from the uh, composition notebooks. <laughs> you like this one too? <laughs> oh. I'm glad. Thank you. It is easy, Donna. I, I've i seen, um, who else? Oh, Linda. Linda Smith has been sharing in my group. Julie's been sharing in my group the pages that they've made using my stencils. I'm like, oh, that looks awesome. You know, and they're the their way they're putting it together, their compositions, their collages, and whatnot. I'm like, oh, I would have, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> oh, it's like sometimes I wish, I wish I would have thought of that. All right, we're gonna poke that through, and poke that through, and poke this one through. Put up your tool so you don't stab yourself. Put up your template so you don't sew it into your journal. I've done it. <laughs> oh, one, two, three. Okay, so we're going to do um, this last raffle. And the next raffle will be for the journal. So if you want a chance to win this journal, just make a donation of any dollar amount. And then at the uh, couple minutes, I'll say, okay, it's time. And everybody will then enter the raffle that has donated. <coughs> I can copy you to my heart's content. Well, thank you, Julie. <laughs> I also like how people take my ideas and make it your own. Do your own thing with it. That I love seeing that. I'm like, oh, I see how she got there. I like that. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if I see it, I'll tell you. And if you want me to see it, tag me. Because I don't stay online that much. I'm too busy. <laughs> too busy. Today was a busy day. I was... Not feeling it today. I was like, how am I going to get all this stuff done? Henry's like, don't worry. Don't worry. You can do it. 
my god <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to decorate the rest of this journal with the fussy cut items that i have over here adding whatever's needed pockets or whatnot and we can chat y'all have any questions Do you like what you see? Do you like how I've mixed the rubber stamping with the stenciling with the digital so that, you know, right now, if you have some of these supplies, you can figure out ways to make these journal pages. See, I, I made these pages earlier and I haven't used them, but I might. So now what I'm going to do is kind of flip through, see what we've got here. And think I like this idea of just adding a little different space on here and I've got we've got a corner oh and I have see I have these extra pieces here that I can use as little um, tuck spots on the pages maybe that's what I'll do just because it looks different, putting the little texture on there. And we've got this texture on the other side. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll put some distress ink around these pieces. Enter the raffle. Are y'all having fun? Are y'all liking what I'm doing? Does it give you ideas of things you can try I think I'll go this way because I have a journaling card that can go right there and so that'll give it a nice little mat <clears throat> all right so what I'm going to do so I'm going to glue down this piece first and then I'm going to use the shabby stitches and stamp around it kind of like we've been doing on the others actually I'm not I'm going to use this stamp that's what I like about sometimes you can choose what you want to do. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this stamp again over here. So, there's my little paper. Okay. I'm going to stamp this up here. And I'm going to stamp it down here. We're going to go here on the edge, and here on this edge. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. I hope you like it. I think it looks kind of neat, because you get this texture behind. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down in the corner down here. This is just a scrap that I had left over again from uh, the cover. Put that there. And I think this little dragonfly should go on top. Get those stamps out and play with them. You really love the yellow? Thank you. I've given you lots of ideas. Yay. Very much so. Need more stamps and stencil ideas, yeah? <laughs> well, you know, remember, you can use the stencils you have. Yes, I'd love for you to buy stencils from me and stamps from me, but, you know, use your budget wisely. <laughs> okay, I like that. Is that kind of cute, the way that came out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this side, and I'm going to repeat that over here because I have enough things that I think I can do this again. So I'm going to put some Distress Ink around these pieces. And I kind of use up all these little bits and pieces that are on my desk. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see. Love using rubber stamps. I do too. I, there's something about it. It just makes me happy to decorate a page 
and you know the stencil design and the stamping is my touch to whatever the digital side of what Norella did and I just feel like oh I you know I'm mimicking some of what she does sometimes sometimes I'm not um, but I'm putting my own touch next to everything I don't know it just makes me happy makes me happy does it make you happy then do it <laughs> all right where's my piece of paper I like it. Kind of cool, huh? All right, what now? How fast is... This is shipping on July the 15th. I'm in pre-orders. It will ship out July the 15th. The digital downloads you get instantly... But the physical items won't ship until July the 15th. That's why it's also uh, good that if you're going to be ordering anything, that um, you go ahead and order any add-on items that you want because you're paying shipping once. Ooh, and I think this one will go here. Yes, I like it. Yes, the next subscription box is a sewing theme. That is correct. I think she would look kind of cute right there, don't you? All right, let's add some distress inks to this piece. I don't know if it'll let you do a coupon on the kit because of the way I've got it set up. <clears throat> I know it will let you do it on the rubber stamps and the stencils. I think I have it turned off for the kits uh, right subscription boxes or t-shirts that's correct oh Barbara I'm sorry you're feeling a little down you know there are times that I, I don't feel it. I'm not 100%. So I try to do things that I enjoy. I'll go out in my garden and walk around and look at the flowers. I'll uh, sit and look on Pinterest for a little while. Or I'll go to the craft store and just wander around. I may not buy anything. I may walk out of there buying nothing. But I just look around at things. And I don't just look at the craft supply per se. I'll even look at the home decor items because sometimes it gives me an idea of something to try maybe. And it's just kind of neat to wander around. I think I like that there. And I'm going to do the vine stamp. There we go. All right. We're rocking and rolling now. All right, I think we're going to go back this way. Let's do this side. <clears throat> we have sunny days, happy. We have a little label. I'm trying to get out the pieces that I have left over here. have a little piece there. What is this? Word. Word. That. This. And that. Okay. I think that says journal there. I think we need a little stamping on this page. So let's do this. Maybe. Oh wait. I've got this pocket. And I have these journal cards. Let's do that. They kind of blend in, but if we uh, grab one of these craft cards 
and that's behind there. Actually, I don't know why I did it with this one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Distress Oxide. Let's use Mustard Seed. I think it's going to be brighter. And I'm just going to go around. First day, I used acrylic paint. So if you don't have these Distress Oxide, you can take acrylic paint and just kind of rub it with a messy brush over the edge. You can even dip a paper towel into the paint to get that effect. Ah, and I know what else I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the pocket down so that it's drying. Uh, those usually take a little bit longer and you don't want to stick your card right into a pocket that you just put glue in because it'll stick together and you won't be happy when you're trying to pull your card out and you rip out the bottom of your pocket. Ask me how I know! There's not enough yellow in the craft world. I know there's not a lot of bright, is there? All right, I'm going to heat this a little bit. Summer, yeah, yellow says summer. Summer, cheery, fun. All right, so that's going to go in there, but I think I need some more decorating on it. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to grab the vine stamp again and just kind of kiss it to that. Oh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. I'm going to do it on the bottom. Neat. I like it. Just a little decoration. And then maybe we can do this. We could put sunny days right there. So now you're getting that mixed media look by barely stamping it and not fretting over it. It's not perfect. That's what I want y'all to get over as well. Is yes, there's a time to have that pristine look, but you don't have to do it in everything in life. It can be a little messy. You like it? I like the way that it works. Birds love the seeds from sunflowers. They sure do. All right, see, that'll go there. And then this one will go on top like that. What do you think? All right, I don't want to put it in there yet, so I'm just going to put that there. And let's flip around and see where else we need something. <clears throat> this side is kind of plain. What else we got? There's a page. Okay. Let's put a little something here. Maybe another one of these guys. Because I've got another journaling card. And maybe we can stamp across the top here. Pictures of the flower garden in bloom. Yeah, yeah. You have bun bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. We've had bunches of bunnies in our area. They've been happy. Very happy bunnies. <laughs> Alrighty. What do you think? That looked kind of good. Let's add some distress ink to this piece. You know what I didn't get out? I didn't get out the butterfly stamps. That's what I should do. Let me grab a couple. I got a little, a little block here. So I'm getting um, a couple of the butterflies from the Butterfly quad, uh, Quattro Quartet Quattro. I think that'll be good. All right. All right. Come on now. Why is my chair hanging up? <clears throat> ah! 
wheelie chair we can go <laughs> thank you so much donna thank you and i think what i want to do is i've got this butterfly that i thought would look kind of cute on here and then i've got a different butterfly that i thought would be kind of cute just to stamp across the top a couple of times and I'm just kind of making a little back and forth design i don't know just something simple um it would also be kind of cool i think let's do it this way so i'm just using this stamp to make like a line so you got a little decorative piece here and then this will be a pocket so let's glue this together One year, I grew giant sunflowers. I'm talking, these were 12 feet tall sunflowers. Their heads were bigger than dinner plates of the sunflower where the seeds were. They were huge. And I ended up with a little sunflower forest back behind our property. I took a ton of photos that year of me being in that sunflower field i'll have to find those i haven't done it since because they're so messy sunflowers grow everywhere now in our yard <laughs> all right so this will go there this needs a little something but i also don't want to cover it up maybe i'll just do this we'll just add happy Right there, so you kind of get a different, you know, across the page colors. Now, I don't always use all the trims and whatnot that I give y'all in the um, kit. And here's why. I only get enough of the um, supplies usually to make the kits. And I've, I did save a little bitty bit. I may have a tiny piece. I could put a little piece right here on that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this to fit. And I'm going to take some of the best glue ever. And I'm just going to run a bead right down this edge. Okay. And it's going to take it a moment. I know that's going to go there, so I'm going to look real fast. I think what I need to do is I need to make another little pocket and a journal card that's going to go a little bit further in the journal. That one will go there. Okay, I, got, I need to put something on this page. So maybe, um, maybe something like that. <clears throat> so now what I'm doing, I'm just kind of looking at what I have left over on my table. And I think I need to make like a little tuck spot with this guy. Maybe we'll put him here. No, I think I like it here. All right. And then... I've got this guy. I can go there. So I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to put some stuff. Like that's going to go there. I need a card or something to make a pocket. So we're going to do that guy. Probably will work. It won't be a big pocket because I'll trim it down for this to fit on top. Yup, yup, yup. I like it. Okay. That goes there. I don't have anything on this page yet. We'll probably stamp this one. Oh, I've got these stamps. I forgot about those. Let's stamp those. Okay, so this, I was letting it air dry just a little bit so that when I go to put the trim on it, it will stick. If it's fresh down glue, it's just going to slide. So this way, I just let it set for a moment. That was the best glue ever that I used. And it will dry tacky so that you can press things into it and then once those things are put together then they will stick so it's a good little glue for that 
Weeding. Yeah, weeding is no fun. <laughs> I, I am thankful that my yard has been pretty good with weed issues not being there. Oh, Mary, thank you so much for your donation that um, I just have to few every so often. Oh, and I like this. There's a hole here at the bottom of the page. Let's do something with that. I've got... I've got a little bit of yarn here. All right, so I'm going to cut two. And I'm going to use a little string. Probably did this backwards, but oh, come on! That's kind of interesting. A little tassel right there. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we put that there. We don't have really anything here. Let's put the word journal up here, like that. That works, and then you see that when you flip this page over. Okay. You liking it? Alright, I think, oh, thank you so much. Kendia, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you. Alright, I think this looks really good. I'm liking it. I don't want to give it up, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so, oh yeah, I've got this rubber stamp. So let's put that on a block. Let me grab a block here. This is one of the newer stamps. Um, if you go to the stamp page and tell it to sort by latest, this is in that uh, pile, if you will. And I just recognize that it has a stem on it. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to just kind of stamp it randomly around the page because if you boo-boo and the stem is going in one direction then it's going to look like well that's upside down or something so i'm just kind of adding a little bit here and there I'm rotating the stamp around okay so we just kind of add it to the page just like that and then we've got the uh, hole on this side, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get two little pieces of string and feed it through that little hole that was on there. You know, and you can do that on purpose. If you have a half sheet of paper like this, or even a full sheet if you want it sticking out the bottom, you can poke a hole for it and put little tassels on your pages. I may even trim it to be the same length. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. <clears throat> I like it. Alrighty. So, I've got a little piece of yellow here. I think we'll do it like that. And that can be like where you would write the date or something. Let's put some distress ink on it, though. Okay. My listen. It's not for me. <laughs> oh, dear. You know, it, it, it's funny because a lot of y'all ask me, how do I do this? And, you know, how, how is it that I can come up with the ideas? I just do things that I like and put together. And, you know, you always hear me say, I'd like to keep this journal. I like it because <laughs> I, I made it, you know. All right, I need another drink. All right, so we got this. Let's see what I've got. I've got another little piece here. Oh, I've got this little label. I wonder, that's not big enough. If I, no, that would look weird. Unless it was teal. Let's spray that. 
All right. Well, I may want that. I'm just going to take this fresh uh, frosted steam and I'm spraying the back side of that label and I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a heat tool. Oh, I can understand, Angelica. Okay, let me uh, let me do the last um cuz did you donate Angelica? Oh no, you didn't. Okay, I was going to say I could start the we can get the next raffle going. Good night, Angelica. Thanks for coming. Okay, I like that. So let's put distress ink from the back side so you can see it. And what if we glue this across here? Okay. And you can see it from both sides. And I think this guy will fit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue it into place on the other side. It's just going to be barely on the page so that I have lots of room to stamp the word journal. So I'm going to put it right about there. Okay. I'm going to use the same word journal. I'm going to stamp on this side. Yeah, and then I'm going to flip it over. Look at there. Isn't that kind of cool? So now you're getting the different layers of color. You flip it. Flip it! <clears throat> okay. Oh, I got one of these little guys. So let's put that right there. Okay, so whoever wins this journal, I'm just going to give you the word journal so that you can put it wherever you want. It's just going to be right there. Okay, I like that. Decorated that. Okay, so now we need to build, let's build this little pocket. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of line this up and see how big of a thing I want. And let's get it straight. I think what I want to do is I want to move this up to about there. So I'm just using the grid. Actually, I need to turn it this way because I won't be able to tear it. It won't tear that way. I'm trying to line it up. Okay. That's really too big. I think I want to go down lower. Yeah, let's do that. I changed my mind. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So, how about... Let's stamp this guy all over it. <clears throat> so, we're going to use that uh, vine stamp again. I'm going to try to ink it up just a little bit. And I'm going to leave it laying on the table. I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to lay it on top. I'm going to take this piece of paper and lay it on top of that. And then I'm just going to rub. So if you don't have a block big enough for your stamp, this is one way to get it stamped. So there. I showed you a technique that you probably didn't know you could do. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the yellow around the edge. I think mustard seed. I think it needs that pop of yellow. It's not a lot. Just a little bit. And then when we put this guy on there, doesn't that look like it goes together better now? <clears throat> <laughs> it 
Yeah, I'm getting. I'm going to do the last free raffle, and then we're going to start the journal. Is I think it's time, isn't it, for me to start that? I think it's time. If you haven't entered the last free raffle, it's time to do so. Okay. Oh, this little piece tore. So, oh, here we go. Maybe. All right, so I'm kind of making a faux tab because that page tore. So all I'm going to do is slip this over the edge and cover up this torn piece. Ah, come on. Sometimes you just kind of have to make do. I wanted to fix that. All right, I'm going to put this down here. Now nah, we have all night. <laughs> hey, Julie. Quit hiding. Don't hide. So what are your plans for the day, Julie, since this is your morning? <clears throat> Oh, go and let her out, Donna. Go let her out. You don't want to keep them waiting. Okay, I think that could go there. I think. I think, 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 I think. Nope, that's not big enough. Where's the other ones? I had some journal cards. What did I do with them? Oh, they're there. Found them. All right, is that big enough? Ha ha! And then let's do something like, okay. So I'm just taking the scrap and folding it in half. We're gonna put some distress ink on here. This is just a four by six, um, I think it's watercolor paper that I have happen to have over here. Now we're adding a little pop of color. I'm just going to glue this on the top and not anything else. All right, are we ready? Let's do the uh, let's do the last raffle cuz I'm almost done with this journal. And that way it won't take very long. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, I want to finish making the art journal and do some gel prints and make faux stamps. Awesome. You can distract with cookies. <laughs> My dog's easily distracted with the cookies too, Rana. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the raffle now. This is for the little goodie pack that I shared. And then I'm going to start the raffle for the journal. If you've donated today, thank you so much. Remember that you go to my website, create a user account on my website. Then log in or go to contact me. Send me a message stating what your YouTube name is and that you donated and you've created a user account and that email address that you used. And I will add you to my YouTube donator membership on my website. And what that does is that gives you a 5% discount on the items that I have discounts available in my shop. And it also gives you the digital downloads that I have set for free. So if it is free to my YouTube donators, you get to go in and download all of those that you wish. So that is a great deal that you get for donating even if it's a dollar or so. All right, we're going to pick the winner, and then we're going to start the raffle for the journal. Only those who have donated are eligible to win. Kathy Lake, you won the goodies. Yay, Kathy. You got the goodies. I don't think I have an order for you, so it'll go out the next day or so. All right, so let's reset that. I have her address, and we're going to put the... Um, Youth 
full yellow journal. Um, we're going to do the mini first, okay? I'm going to do mini. So what I'm going to do is the minis first that didn't get decorated. They just are pretty much ready for you to decorate. We're going to do these first, and then we'll do the big journal. So that's what's going to be the first one. I'm going to open the giveaway. Only those that have donated. Uh, TLC something, which is Candia, Mary, Christy, Maria, or yeah, Maria, Sandra, Michelle, subscribed, uh, Barbara, Mariana, Amanda, Cynthia, Alex, Christy again, Lisa, um, Janice, Ada, Paula, Mary again, Kathy, Barbara, Pam, Margie, uh, Lori, Christy, Sherry, Christy again, Donna, Carrie Ann, and Deborah Vick. So all of you, thank you so much for your donation, and uh, please enter the raffle now. And we're going to do the minis first. So who, the first winner, tell me which one you want. So those that are entering, make a decision. Which one do you want when your name is called? So that when I say your name, say, that I want the sunflower one. Or I want the bird one. Okay? Just let me know. <laughs> Alrighty. So I think we got that glued together. It may be a little wonky, but that's okay. I think that looks cute, don't you? Adding a little layers there, yes. I think we need some butterflies across the top. So I'm gonna use one of the little butterflies. Kinda add that. Kinda adds a little texture there. And plus it kinda repeats where we've done it in another spot in the journal. And I think, yeah, I'm gonna use the vine stamp again. And just kind of stamp it right there. I don't know. I just like the texture that it gives the edges of the pages. And again, this is one of the stamped uh, triple daisy. Or just put daisy in the shop and you'll find it. Sunflower. Sunflower, I'm hearing sunflower. <laughs> Giovanna says, I want the bird journal. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Carrie Ann says, the birdie. Uh, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. All right, I've got, I've got a couple more of these little pieces left. Well, I think I, think I also want to leave you room to decorate the journal some, you know? You can add your little touches to it. Uh-oh, I think I put this in too soon. That happens. Okay, I should be able to get it now. Come on, come out of there. Don't stick, thank you. Oh good, it didn't damage anything, it just stuck. Okay, fixed it. You discovered some sunflower steps you didn't know you had? Well, this would be perfect for you, Julie. Okay, so we've got this side and this side and this side. We put something there. I like it. It makes me happy. I like the colors. You know, and being able to add pages and then add touches of the kit here and there you know, helps bring it all together. Okay. Oh, I didn't put anything on the strings. I have, let me see. Yep, I do. I haven't punched this, so I'm going to punch the little hearts out. Punch your heart out! All right. I save all these little pieces. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. It is kind of fun if you find things that you forgot you had right when you need them. <clears throat> oh, come on. Stick together for me. Stick together. 
stick together. They're free from a magazine. Awesome. Um, you want me to make a bundle, Sandra? I can. Yeah, um, fern stamps. Fern stamps. I I showed them last week. <laughs> um, and then they weren't in my shop, but they're in there now, and I can do a bundle. I'll bundle them up, give you a bundle price. I can do that. Yeah, there's three sizes. So there's the large and the medium, and there's the small. And they're cling mounted. And they're really quite good. I like the way they look. I'll show you here. Let me give you a, give you a sample. This is what they look like. I think I'm on something though. You can see that design. Uh oh, I dropped something. Okay. Did you see that? Yay. Okay. Get the fern stamp out of the way. I put strings on, or things on the strings. Things on the strings! A little distress ink on them. I look a little better with some distressed ink. Gotcha. <laughs> you love the ferns. You're welcome. Okay, I like that. I think we're almost done here. Okay, we put some stuff there. Isn't that cute? Okay, we haven't put anything on this page. And I got this page. Okay, so we just got two more full pages. So I've got two little embellishments. And I still have some of these. And I have some rubber stamps. So let's put this guy right here on the page. I'm putting glue on the upper half. So... If you happen to have something you want to tuck there, you can, okay? Oh, and I just remembered, I want to go... Alright, I think I want to put some trim here, so let me look here. Alright, I think we're going to stamp on this, so... I'm trying to decide if I want to do this first. I'm going to do this one first. Okay. So I got that done. Put that there. Alright. So let's decorate this one. Thank you. I'm trying to put more stamps and bundles. Okay. I got you. I'll do it. I'll put some stamp bundles together. Okay, so what do I want to put over here? Oh, let's do this again. Let's do this where we stamped all over the edge. So it just kind of, again, mimics what we did earlier. So it's kind of a, a repeat, if you will. And it gives whoever gets the journal an opportunity that they could maybe paste a, a title over it. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fold it back. There. There we go. So that gave a little decoration to that page. And then we've got this side. And I think we've got the word cheerful. That's kind of blah. So... Let's do this. Let's mat it with a little bit of, yeah, oh, I got an idea. What do I want to do? I have another piece here. Here we go. 
Was that too yellow on yellow? Yes, but I like it with this. And I think what we need to do is make a little pocket. Yeah, I think that looks good like that. You like that? You like the bird bath stamp? Isn't that cool? You'll add yellow and teal rickrack. Okay, I like that. I think that's what I want to do is kind of add this right here and put this up here. So let's add some distress ink. Yellow on yellow. You like the yellow on yellow? I thought it was too much, but I got another idea. I've got a different yellow and it's a smaller piece. So what if I did something like that? I think I like that. So I'm going to trim this up. Yeah. Where's my scissors? Scissors, where are you hiding? And go right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to add some Distress Ink to the edges. And we're going to glue that there. Yeah? So I'm going to put this at the bottom, kind of in the center, but it needs something else. I, I got it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big, um, I think this is called a white glider. It's a moth. So I'm going to put this right here. You love it? Okay, good. So I've got that little guy. So I think we should just cut it, and it looks like it's a little specimen type thing that we've added. So cut up here right about there. It's using the scraps. All right, so I'm going to add some Distress Inks. I think that'll look cute on there. All right, so I'm going to glue this down as a pocket. Love it! Thank you! So I'm just putting glue Sometimes I put my arms down in front of me because um, filming, I'm having to reach up to get this here. So if my hands sink back, it's because this is a more comfortable way <laughs> to uh, glue or use the distressing tool. Who knew that being a crafter was hard on your body, y'all? <laughs> I'm going to make this a second... Um, tuck spot. So maybe you find a little tag or something that you want to stick in there. Or maybe I'll make a little tag. I don't know. We'll see. As we're stalling for time, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this together. Then I'm going to go back and we're going to do the uh, little trim, that the little uh, ball trim. We'll glue that down, and maybe what I'll do is I'll make a little bitty tag to fit in this pocket. So that'll go in there. Yeah? Okay. So that I can find this again, I'm going to put that up there because I'm going to make a tag out of this piece in a moment. So I'm going to go back this way, and I think, let's see if there's glue on the, I think I want to put this little trim on here. Let's put it on this side. So I'm just going to cut it to be the same length, and then I'm going to, um, Put the best glue ever right down the side here 
And if you have donated, now's the time to enter the raffle. If you have not donated, but you want a chance to win, here's the time to make your donation to enter the raffle. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for just a moment so it can somewhat set up. And while we're doing that, I'm going to make a little tag. So I know that my artist trading cards are two and a half inches and a tag is probably going to be, maybe it was three and a half. So let's try, I'm going to go at two inches. I don't think that's enough. So we're going to do an inch and a half because I think, well, it might fit. I think it might fit. We'll see if that'll fit. And we've got another little piece here we can use. All right, so I can't move this yet, but what I'm going to do is put this stamp pad here so it doesn't close all the way over. Smart, huh? And then I'm going to go over here and see. All right, so this was on the skinny side. I thought it was. So that will fit right in there. So I'm just going to add some distress ink to it. And I think what I'm going to do is I've got that punch that makes the tag shape at the top. There it is. I put it up in the right place so I could find it today. And it has a slot for uh, one and a half inches. So I'm just going to slide that in. This piece feels like it's just a little bit bigger than one and a half. And I'll punch. There we go. We'll add some distress ink. I set that down on the glue. <laughs> I think this is ready though. So I'm gonna put this across here. All right, just making sure there's not any glue on there. All right, so that's now on there. And let's go over here. And let's add a little piece of fiber, yeah? The same ones we've been using. And it's the same that you're going to get in the kit. Okay. Where's my little... All right. You're not a journal, but you love making them. I like to journal in them, too. That's why I've been trying to make some for myself. <laughs> I may just go and get a couple composition books and um, just cut them down to the right size. And I'm just going to start making plain, um, not overly embellished journals that I can just have on hand. Okay, so I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. You want me to flip through it one more time? I used all the little pieces that came with the kit. They're in this journal. I used some rubber stamps as well. I'm trying to get all the stuff out of the frame. No distractions from the journal. Okay. So there's the front. There's this page that I stamped and did the stenciling. This is a journal card back here and there. And I love this page with the color and that bird bath stamp. And then here is a journal card that we did with the oxide ink. It's kind of a golden yellow. And then I saved this in case whoever gets this, they may want the journal over the top of that. They may want to put it somewhere else so they have it. Okay. Exactly, Margie. I understand. <laughs> I do. 
Uh, everybody's, I want that journal. I'm like, oh man, but I wanted to keep it. <laughs> this journal card in here. I like these little boxes, how they just happen, you know. Love the bird. Yeah, and the bird cool. And then made a journal card there. And these shimmer. They're so pretty. Who can attest to how pretty my journals are? Inflate my ego. <laughs> oh, someone had asked if I was going to be working with um, Norella's newest kit, Sea Breeze. That's one of the pages from it. Yes, I will be making this journal kit um, probably the end of the month. Um, yeah, I think it's the end of the month. Like the third, third Monday is when I'll probably make that. All right, are y'all ready? Yeah, me, me, Cynthia, Margie says. <sighs> yep, if we have, sometimes we have free raffle. Or try to make a replica, yeah. <laughs> Aw, oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Kathy. Aw, oh, thank you, Pam. Thank you, Mary. You had no idea, Donna. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it does cost a few bucks, Donna, but you could you could win a bunch. I like the way this one turned out. I think I'm going to du duplicate this idea again. I like that. It kind of looks like it's a little lace shelf and the butterflies are just dancing above it. Oh, thank you, Christy. Thank you. All righty. Well, I think we're about ready. I like the way this came out. I'm supposed to be doing some chipboards too. I got to get some time on the laser. So I can make some chipboards. I like the way this turned out too with that blue. It's just interesting how it's come together. And then doing the stamping around the page. Thank you, Mark and Bonnie. Mark or Bonnie. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably Bonnie that's with us. And I thought this was kind of cute. Just little little tuck spot. Do you have room to journal up here? Maybe you'll tip in a photo. Last call. All right, well, I still have the uh, Outrageous Orange in my shop and a few of the Radiant Red. So if you have not had any of my journals so far in the Rainbow series, you can get all three of them at the same time. And I will refund the shipping if it charges you more than necessary. So if you buy all three of them at the same time, I will make sure that the shipping is correct. I like the blue background too. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how this turned out. And I like, I like the center with the pops of color there. My journal's very beautiful, Barbara says. <laughs> all right, are y'all ready for me to pick? Here it is. Let me find my pen. And again, Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your thumbs up, for watching, subscribing, uh, winning the raffles that you're here. Uh, do check out my group, Friendly Junk Journal People, on Facebook. And then I have Bidlin to Israel. It's just a smaller group that usually I just post when I do something. If I'm going to be live, if I've got an event, a new product, and most of my great fans that are in there, they share what journal they're working on at the moment or what they're making, greeting cards, uh, gifts, whatever it may be. So you're welcome to share in that group. It's a no-selling group, but you can come in to buy Linda Israel. All right, y'all, thank you so much for being here. Let's do the, um, oh yeah, Calico Collage has a sale going on. 40% off of 300 printables. Go support Norella, pretty please. If you're looking for digital files for things, go to Norella first, pretty please. As, as a follower of me, supporting her supports me because if Norella's not making any money and I'm asking her to make a kit for me, 
then she's gonna stop making the kits for me because <laughs> she makes more money so help her out keep small business owners like myself and norella in business you know people think we're big time we're really not i am a one woman show here doing all of this and i just do collaborations with other artists and business owners to help me get where i am um, so i'm one person here you're not supporting walmart or amazon when you're supporting me you're not supporting walmart or amazon when you support norella so please do that all right thank you so much all right let's win let's see who's gonna win you're very welcome norella norella snuck back in and heard me <laughs> you're very welcome uh, make sure that alex is ready to enter the raffle if he hasn't norella did he enter or did you enter i hope you entered i'm gonna give you a second to respond to me uh you love the hummingbird kits, aren't they gorgeous? And I have the printed version of the hummingbird kit. I also have the printed version of the beekeeper kit in my shop. Thank you so much, Giovanna. Thank you so much for saying that. You're very welcome. Yeah, you learned some stuff? Good. I'm glad. You know, just trying different things. All right. Okay, he entered. Okay, perfect. I was making sure. All right, giveaway. All right. Uh, Mariana, take your turn your sound down. <laughs> I'll try not to be too loud. All right, we're gonna pick the winner. I'm gonna get a drink, so I'm refreshed and ready to go. Oh, uh, well, let me see. Let me look. Is there anybody else that hasn't entered? <laughs> Lisa just got in. Okay, I'm waiting just a little bit longer. All right, if you donated, you are eligible. Bees? Yes, there's a bee kit. Yeah, there's a bee kit. Um, it is, I think I still have one of the cover pages here. Where is it? Oh, I thought it was right here, but yes, there's a bee kit. I have it, she has it digitally in her shop, and I have a physical kit in my shop, and I must have moved it. All right, Donna got in. This is for the minis. I forgot, we need to do this quicker now. Um, I should have already raffled this. Okay, this is for the minis, so I'm going to do the giveaway. Pick a winner. Deborah Vick, you won. So which one did you want, the sunflower or the bird? Congratulations, yay! Okay, tell me which one you want. And then we'll pick the next person that's going to win. You don't have to re-enter. <laughs> yes, you did. You distracted me. <laughs> this is for the minis. All right. Tell me which one you want. Yay! You're welcome, Deborah. Which one do you want? You want the sunflower or the bird? And while she's deciding that, I'm going to pick the next winner, okay? And then the next winner gets what's left over, okay? I'm waiting, Deborah. Okay, give away. I'm going to pick another winner. Janice Brammer, yay! You won the other little journal. All right, so once I know which goes where, let me know which one you want, Deborah. Which journal? Yay, Janice! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to reset it, or should, because because this is up to y'all. Whenever I call a winner. When I do a raffle, it takes you out of the chance to win the big journal. So right now, if I were to call a name, Deborah and Janice don't have a chance to win the big journal. So that's why I restart it. Okay, you want the sunflower, Deborah. Okay, perfect. Sunflower. Birds. All right. Perfect. Yep, I got the big one. All right, so I'm going to reset. 
Okay, reset. Yes. Okay, now we're going to do the big journal. Open giveaway. All right, there we go. We got this is for the big journal. And while we're doing that, let me see. Um, let me make a journal card while we're working on that. How's that sound? Um, I think I've got some new stamps. I got new stamps. I forgot what this one said. This one says something. Um, I don't know if I want to use that. Let's look at these stamps real fast. I think... Alright, I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to take this stamp. Let's make a journal card real fast. Alright, y'all get entered in the raffle. And then, once everybody says they're entered, I want you to say, raffle entered. That way I know. Because now I've been on here for three hours. And I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Alright, what did I just do with those? Oh, they're there. I think. Okay. Alright, I know what I'm going to do. Alright, so I've got this large. I think this one's something about a garden. It's got the hydrangea on it. So I'm going to stamp this in the middle. I've got the smooth side of some watercolor paper. The smooth side. So I'm just stamping that down. Okay, raffle entered. Raffle entered. Okay. Yes, you get the mini bird journal, Janice. That's right. I got gotcha. you. What do you think? So that's just stamped onto the paper. Nothing else added to it. So let's add some distress inks. Okay. That looks pretty good. But I think I think I want a piece of scrap paper here. I had one the other day. What'd I do with it? Do do do. Well, we'll just do this. So, what I want to do is I want to have kind of a, a soft feel. So, I'm going to tear this piece of paper just a little bit. And we're going to lay that over there. <clears throat> I'm going to lay this in my box. Okay, and I think what I want, do I want green? I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to put a little bit of green and teal. And I'm going to use a little bit of the teal. Okay, and we're going to lift this up. So it kind of gives you a frame. What do you think? I'll dry this a little bit. <laughs> everybody's got a chance. All right, everybody's in. Your fingers swell up. That's how I keep my fingers active. Well, when I was really fat, I had to have my rings resized. But since I've lost over 100 pounds, my rings fit. I had to have them resized back down so they would fit. I like that. What do you think? Oh, thank you, Jen. Make sure you enter the raffle. I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's color this. All right. After Jen gets entered, 
This is it. Last call. If you want to win this journal, why not? We're going to do this yellow. Hydrangeas can kind of get yellow at the end of their season, kind of a yellow brown. So I'm just going to kind of go in here and grab a little bit. And then I'm going to take the darker yellow and kind of fill in. So it'll really get that color in there. You can also take a little bit of the brown and touch it in spots in here. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to clean out the brush. You liking it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mariana. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of green some green over here oh I forgot to put some more yellow let's put some more yellow over here all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of this brown and I'm going to kind of touch it in a few spots. We'll kind of help darken those few areas. Okay. Love the journal card. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. So glad you joined us. Thank you. All right. Here, let me zoom in on it so you can see it. All right. You like that? It's all sparkly. The leaf still has a lot of tattered angels on there. So I'm going to hit it with a heat tool. And then I think, are we ready? How'd you do that? <laughs> I did it quick, didn't I? That's just tattered angels. Just tattered angels. So I sprayed it and I used it as if it was watercolor paint. You like it? Thank you. I love having stamps because it just you could quickly make this any way you want so right now we're doing the yellow but you know next week I could do this in purple or blue or teal red pink orange I like it you're so welcome all right I think we're ready to do the drawing and uh, this person will I'll throw in this journal card I was gonna keep it but I won't be stingy <laughs> do you want me to sign the journal card I can sign it I'll put my name down here there you go We'll stick that in here. I know there's a pocket, so I'll find a pocket. And then, uh, oh, let's put it right there. Let's draw for the winner. That's cute hair dryer. Thank you so much. Y'all brighten up my day. I really enjoy doing these lives. You know, when I get off here, I tell Henry my face hurts from smiling. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, Bonnie, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Come visit my Facebook group. I have tons and tons of tutorials that show you all kinds of things. And again, you can ask questions. I may not answer them right away, but I try to get to them within a day or two. Depends on how busy I get and how many messages I get. All right. So let's, uh, let's pick the winner. A journal card, just like that. You like it? <laughs> just like that. Bam, journal card. And it matches the kit. 
So use your stamps. Get them out. For Linda. Oh, thank you, Mariana. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mary. Yes, I'll sign the journal. I think I did. Oh, I did. I did sign the big journal. I haven't signed the little ones, but I will. Thank you, Sandra. All right, let's pick the winner. Y'all ready? Who's going to win? The excitement builds. And the winner is... Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I'm making sure y'all are ready. Sigh, the journal. Yay, thank you, Marie. All right, Christy got in the raffle. Anybody else? Did you get in the raffle? It's kind of vintage looking too, isn't it? All right, Mary got in the raffle. Thank you, Christy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Drum roll. Okay, I think I got enough people saying they're ready for me to do the giveaway. <laughs> Pick a winner. Cynthia Dossett, you won. That's funny. That's twice that we've had, or three times that we've had the same person win a different drawing. That's crazy. All right, she got the journal. Congratulations. Yay, Cynthia. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. And uh, make sure that you do create. Those of you that were new donating today, go to my website, create a user account. And I think I even have... I don't remember if I do. I know I have contact. Um, I'll get the, yeah. So if you have a, to redeem your coupon or to create an account, go there and then send me a message and you'll have fun, you know. Play the lottery, Robin says. <laughs> yeah, the lottery is just that. Yes, you need to play the lottery, Cynthia. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Good night, Mariana. Good night, Christy, Robin, Mary, Sherry. Oh, Lori, all of you. Michelle and Barbara and Cynthia and Alex. Bye, Alex. Bye, Norella, if you're still here. <laughs> and Kathy and Pam and Margie and Lori and Christy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can smell dinner cooking. Henry got home just a little bit ago and he started cooking. So come join us Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. It'll be a mixed media day. And uh, let me know. Do you want me to do like I did last Thursday where I made a few mixed media pages and then I turned them into journal pages? If that's something you want me to do, then say so. Uh, let me know either by going to leave a comment on this video after we get off here. You can come to my uh, Facebook group or you can come to my Facebook page or you can even go to my blog and send me a message. So love to have you, okay? Let me know what you would like for me to do. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Thursday is Mixed Media. Bye, Marie. Bye, Julie. Bye, Mary. Bye, Christy and Christy. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. All right. Kick out the Youthful Yellow kit. I only have 50 that I'll be available in my shop. So get them while their kitten's good. Because once they're gone, they're gone. I won't be making any more. All right. All righty. Yay! Go get dressed, Julie. Have a fabulous day. All right, well, we're going to get off here. Yay, thank you, Robin. Thank you so much, Robin. I really appreciate all the help that you give me and the links and being my admin. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. Y'all have a great night. Night, Donna. Night, Cynthia. Christy. Robin. Julia, your nightwear. <laughs> oh, dear. Have a good one. Thanks for being here. Have a great rest of your day. All right, we're going to get off here. I'm going to hit the button. Lots of love to you. Bye. <laughs>